Mayor Bloomberg went, excellent. <laughs> I really believe that. New York City, one of the things that they're doing to increase the number of cameras quickly, they're going to private industry, they're saying, you have a camera. We're going to help you maintain the camera. Just give us the video feed from it also. Thousands of people have said yes. New York City is paying half a billion dollars to Lockheed to install cameras everywhere in the subway, just like the ones you saw with artificial intelligence built in. Congestion pricing, most of you remember that there was going to be congestion pricing. Did you ever wonder how they were going to know what cars were entering the box? The answer was, everywhere all over Manhattan, today they are now installing license plate readers. It's not just cameras anymore. They have activity recognition, smart surveillance, analytics, facial recognition, license plate readers. These are cameras that can figure out what you're doing from a pre-programmed configuration. Now, I'm putting this up as an example, but also because it's the creepiest thing possible. This is a schoolyard. Now, these cameras were originally developed for, for prisons. So I guess they forgot to put in a new program for the schoolyard camera. So you have like that kid making a break for it over there. <laughs> but but these, are, these are labeled chat, play, eat, study, play, and then alert, suspicious behavior. If you've got a guy sitting in front of a bank of a thousand monitors, the cameras are watching themselves and only when this software detects there's something that may be of interest does it start blinking and then the human comes over and goes, oh yeah, that's a guy with a gun, okay. Facial recognition programs. When I put this up at Stevens Institute two years ago, 15 U.S. states had facial recognition. It's now 22. By the end of 2009, 41 states will have it. All, pass all U.S. passports now go through facial recognition and all foreign passports of people entering. It's so easy to implement that even campuses are using it. University of Colorado a year and a half ago had a pot smoke in. A lot of the people wear glasses and of course, there was a haze of smoke obscuring their faces. The security department of U of C got a facial recognition program, took 105 photos, I believe it was, of the pot smokers, ran it against the, the student ID card photos. They caught 100 out of the 105, suspended them all. Okay, here's real world. IBM's Watson Lab which helps develop these facial recognition programs and activity programs, they're set up where you drive into the parking lot, you park your car, it looks at the car, it says that's Bob's car, guy gets out of the car, stands up, fixes his tie, camera says, okay, that's Bob, Bob